This review is a re-upload because of false copyright claims on the original video. It was filmed pre-COVID, so provides a nice glimpse back into the golden era of air travel. Enjoy. Now the last time I wore this shirt, I was stepping on board the uh, wonderful Etihad A380 in their first class apartment. It was my best flight ever. Today, tonight, I've got another little bit of luxury in store. I'm in Bangkok and I'm uh, about to jump on board the iconic 747 with uh, Thai in their Royal First Class, Bangkok through to Sydney. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's do it. This is cool. I'm getting a personal escort through to the uh, to yeah, the lounge. Here comes the lounge up there. Now I'm getting a personal trolley ride through to the first class lounge. Got through security, so I have my assistant there. And now we're uh, we're heading off to the lounge. I think this is the business class lounge. Espresso, please. Yes. And just some um, uh, water. Watch it. And this is a, uh, a very, very good start so far. And I uh, highly recommend the uh, Thai first class experience at uh, Bangkok's airport. After my coffee, I explored the rest of the lounge. It's huge, with lots of seating, a room of snacks, a separate restaurant area, and even free massages on offer. This lounge has been absolutely fantastic. Short but sweet. And the, the, the staff here have been fantastic. Really, really nice. Uh, so uh, let's fly, let's do it. <laughs> bye bye. Nothing beats the classic beauty of the 747. It'll be a sad day when they're all gone. Cheers. Here's to a great one. The Royal First Class cabin is located at the very front of the main deck of the 747. There are nine seats in total, with these two seats in the middle being the best for couples. If you're flying first class on a 747, you really can't go past seat 1A. These Thai first class seats are really great. They're super comfortable, nice and wide, and endlessly adjustable. The controls are easy to manage with both one-touch preset modes and a touchscreen that allows you to control individual seat elements. As expected, the seats are fully powered and have various storage options. I really loved a tray table. It's an old-fashioned solid timber table rather than one of those modern flimsy things. It adds a touch of class and creates a great space for getting work done. Dining on Thai Royal First Class is an event. This is one flight where you don't want to pre-eat before boarding. After takeoff, I indulged in a 21-year-old 
Old Pulteney single malt whisky. And rather than warm nuts, Ty ramps it up in first class with some pretty fancy appetizers to get the palate going. First up, there were some deep fried oyster mushrooms, followed by some delicious spicy beef with ginger. This is a good time to have a close look at the menus. Obviously, feel free to skip ahead. Before we have lunch, I want to give a shout out to Dashlane, who are sponsoring this video. Dashlane is a password manager and digital identity app. I've been using it for a couple of years now and I love it. It's made my life both easier and more secure. Rather than remembering dozens of passwords and which email addresses they are linked to, I now only need to remember one. Their autofill feature saves heaps of time and the one step checkout process means I no longer have to type out my credit card details when shopping online. It's brilliant. And no, these aren't my real credit card details, but yes, the system really is this easy to use. Their VPN connection is great for traveling, and you can choose your VPN server location from 23 different countries, so you can access content globally that would otherwise be blocked. Dashlane are giving my viewers a special offer. Basically, you get to try Dashlane free on one device, and then if you like it, you get 10% off their premium subscription. To get started, simply click on the link below and use the coupon code DENNIS. There are no meal trays in first class, rather each dish is presented individually on fine bone china. I'm not a great fan of caviar so I skipped this and went straight for the faux gras terrine, followed by spicy pumpkin and Alaskan crab soup. Both were divine. For mains I went with the Thai option and couldn't go past the stir fry lobster with chilli curry paste. This dish was amazing, the flavours were amongst the best I've tasted in the sky. And it was also the first time I tried blue rice or at somebody time of beans into a knot. By this stage I was pretty full, however there was no way that the crew were letting me skip dessert. It started with some fresh fruit, cheese and nuts, which was then followed by the most delicious little lemon pie with raspberry sauce. This was probably the tastiest in-flight meal I've had, I couldn't fault any of it. And this is where the magic happens, it's the biggest and longest in-flight galley I've seen. Upon boarding, each first class guest is provided with an amenities kit, slippers and PJs. So when they handed me the pyjamas, I said, thank you very much. The voice inside my head was going, yeah, pyjamas, because regular viewers will know that I love in-flight pyjamas. They make the uh, flight far more comfortable, keeps your clothes crease free and it's just you're far more comfortable that's uh, the basics so let's uh, put on the tie first class pajamas and see what uh, what they look like here we go and there we have it the tie rule first class pajamas they're very comfortable they look dashing and look at that with the matching slippers well matching slippers i'm not sure they'll uh, now guarantee that they'll have a uh, comfortable and good sleep Another handy feature of these first class seats is that each seat has its own little closet to hang up your clothes while you're wearing your PJs. I didn't really use the entertainment system much, but it seemed easy to use with lots of viewing options. Obviously in first class your screen is nice and big and they provide noise cancelling headphones. By now it was time to get some sleep and the crew soon transformed my seat into a serious bed. Fully flat, long and wide, everything you want in a uh, bed in the sky. I think this is going to be a great night's sleep. Good night. I 
I slept like a log and by the time I awoke we were just starting our descent. There was just enough time for an espresso before we were coming into land in Sydney. Sydney and that was one sensational flight. It was everything that you'd want from a first class flight. A great easy airport experience, fantastic onboard service, sensational delicious food and a great sleep with which, which meant I actually missed breakfast and woke up just as we started our descent. Um, all in all fantastic so uh, really looking forward to flying Thai again and this is a great flying in one of those old 747s. Um, don't get to fly them often, so yeah, really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. There's a whole lot more reviews on the way. As always, happy travels. Now, I'm keeping it real, I'm flying uh, through to Adelaide in uh, domestic economy class with, uh, with Qantas.